What's up, guys? Brownie Bits here, and we are back in a brand new episode of Brownie Land. And today I am joined by my good friend Grumpy Al, who's playing with the Wandering Trader over there. Huh. <laughs> are you saying? Are you? Are you saying every time he, he says something, or are you trying to get Ex him to say something? Excuse me, I'm transacting. Okay. Huh. <laughs> huh. Okay, no. he's He doesn't have anything. He wanted me to trade an emerald for, like, a daisy. Oh. I was like, no. No. <laughs> go. Go. Get out of here with your garbage <laughs> trades. I've well, never seen one of these, so I was really excited. Yeah, you said you, uh, you downloaded uh, or installed 1.14 for the first time. Well, yeah, you this. you you forced me to download <laughs> one point fourteen for the first time ever. Well, I do appreciate you doing that and uh, joining me for this uh, this special episode of Brown and Land for the uh, the world tour for episode one hundred and twenty five. Uh, that is so many. <laughs> it's it's it is a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. But hey, you want to know a fun fact? Absolutely, uh, actually. Okay, so speaking of too many episodes. I found out that the longest running TV show mm -hmm. is a German German children's show. It has twenty thousand episodes. Oh my gosh! I know. I was like, "What?" And then the next one below that is like four. It's like four thousand. It's some like I don't know, like French cartoon or something like that. I'm like, <laughs> "What is going on? How do you get twenty thousand episodes of anything? Yeah, like at all? That's, that's like, insane. That's uh, years of work. <laughs> it is. I mean, it's been out since like 1959 or something like that. Yeah, so absolutely. it's something like super sense. old. But still, can you even think of coming up with twenty thousand concepts for a children's show? <laughs> <laughs> like, this is just mind boggling. Anyways, hi, hi, I, hi. I. Uh, I we are actually outside of Alawick and uh, Night Thirteen's uh, Styles episode, which you were actually part of one of them. We'll yes. actually go and take a look at that too, because something has changed over there. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, Night Thirteen Style episode is actually right over here. Alawick is just to the south of us, um, over the the hills over there. But it's um, the best. Yes. So one thing about this world, uh, and uh, I want to. I, I, I'm pretty sure you know this already, but I, I like to kind of specify this. But one thing about this world is I am trying to make this as like interesting as a world as you possibly can. So mm -hmm. as you're walking around, there's going to be like little things to notice, like such as these half slaps here. And these the horses. horses right here. Yeah, that horse, these, specifically these are, that horse. Ooh, ooh, what's this? What's yes. this? So this was done uh, pre episode one hundred, and this is a little logging camp. I like that. What is this thing? That's the what is stone, that? or that's the uh, the stone cutter. Yeah. What the heck's a stone cutter? So that's how you make uh, slabs and stairs in one dot fourteen now. I mean, you can still craft it normally, but this, this will give you one for one. This modding magic. There are massive fireworks going on right outside of my window. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear them, but I am not sitting in the middle of like a war zone or anything. <laughs> no, I'm just letting you. Know. And I like this. Uh, I like this little like tent here. This is pretty sweet, dude. Yeah, I I I had a lot of fun kind of coming up with the design. I wanted it like a bigger feeling tent, but I also wanted it to be you know relatively small because the idea is that this is basically like. A couple people you know it's huh. this is not like a huge operation but it's big enough to where it's cleared off like a lot you know i like I, that you have uh i like that you kept the the like logs where things have been actually cut down actually to tell you the truth none of these mm -hmm. have actually been cut down in this area all of these were placed by me because this oh, was no, actually no 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 i know that here. that yeah, oh. No, I like I got that, but like just that you even kept them like that, like instead of just ripping the tree out and being like, this is a logging area you have, like where it looks like it was actually like cut out oh, of yeah. this forest. I think it's super cool. Yeah, that's, that's a uh, good attention to detail. That's that's what I wanted. I'm going to do this or that same idea all throughout here, because basically this has been like a logging camp just outside of Alawick. Um, mm -hmm. And Eventually, I'm going to come through here and do all of this, but I uh, haven't gotten to that yet because I wanted to get on to other things. Um, and then we actually have another Styles episode right over Ooh. here. And I'm like, I like sure you could probably tell who this is based off of <laughs> some of the stuff here. <laughs> this looks like a Foxy build. This is absolutely a Foxy build. <laughs> yeah. So you can tell. 
Yes, there's, yes, there's you can. lots of flowers all over the place. <laughs> Um, but it's and, cool. I like this. She actually, uh, she did a similar kind of building in uh, in Rivet in Home. Uh, it's like a little, like this little tea house. Like she has a similar one. I think there's something a little bit different with it on the top. Nice. But yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean that. I think that was her her overall style. This is like sort of Asian inspired, um, and I think it came out really nice. I I, I really I like it. it. She did a great job like designing it. it, and we had a lot of fun recording that episode. She's, yeah, she's I, Asian's one of those. <laughs> oh, she is, but Asian's one of those styles that like I just cannot do very well. Like the the rivet stuff is the first attempt I've ever done at like Asian theme, yeah. and it's it's really hard. It's really hard. But I'm also like I feel like I'm going with like because people don't recognize, especially in like Minecraft, there's a lot of different um, different like styles of architecture to different things. So like mm -hmm. we all t we tend to just incorporate Asian into one thing, oh, you yeah. know, and like medieval into one thing. Mm -hmm. But like they're not. So like I think I feel like I'm going with a little bit more of a Chinese architecture vibe um, as opposed to like that would be something you would more consider probably like Japanese. Absolutely. So, yep. so yeah, it's kind of just interesting to see where that all goes. Absolutely. But uh, we can keep going down the road. Absolutely. Let's keep kind of strolling down this road. <laughs> yeah. But um, <laughs> that's not the important stuff. That was actually done a long, long time ago. What I would like to do, actually, is mm -hmm. there's this pathway here. We have this kind of Y road-ish type of deal. And I want to go this way. fork in the road. There's a fork in the road. Exactly. There's a T road or whatever you want to call it. But I want to go this way. Because this is actually getting into some of the brand, brand new stuff that we've done um, over the last 25 episodes from episode 100. I like new stuff. Yes. and I especially like brand, brand new stuff. Oh, yeah. This is actually like within the last couple of episodes. Ooh. Oh, yeah. These are so pretty. I saw so, these on your episode and I love them. So this is, nobody does this. Exactly. I was like, so what What can I do different? Because I have tons and tons of wheat fields and beetroot fields and potato fields and everything like that. What can I do that's going to be very pretty looking and very interesting to the eye, but mm. isn't those plants? Because I have just so many of those. And so that's what I've kind of tried to do with this this area. So we've got like apiaries out here. Um, I saw these. And so we have like little bee... I love these. Things. I think these are amazing. This is probably one of the best uses of these that I've seen. And like, I haven't been like so much into 1.14 stuff yet. Like, I knew these composts were here, but like, this is such a cool version of like things to do with them. I don't know too much about apiaries though, like, as an actual thing. I do know that like they build them like this, but like, I didn't know they put like so many of them like together. Well, I don't think they would put so many of them and they would be very much more spaced out. But yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of taking some creative liberties with this. Eventually, oh, yeah, I'm going to go in and detail the the ground underneath, you know, put some path blocks, coarse dirt, you know, even you know what you in, should, uh, you know what you should do with one or two of them if you can. I don't know, like, because I know there's like the campfires now. Mm -hmm. Like, does that um can that pass through certain blocks? It can pass through one block. So if I were to like put a campfire down, it will pass through the first block and then it won't right. pass through a second block. So you should totally have it where like a couple of these are being um are being like the Fumigated. stuff's actually being taken taken out of. Yeah, like they're putting the smoke in to calm the bees down and get the uh get the uh the things out of the honey out of. There we go. That's, That's what I was looking for. Not a bad idea. And then I'm trying actually. to Hold on, I'm 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 coming up with possible things. I don't know if this will work. That's not terrible. You got like the little uh the little the little things here. There you go. Like that's where they would get it out, I guess. I don't know if that's where they do though. Oh, that's kind of cool. And then you can do one one block, right? I don't so green carpet. Actually, you know what would probably be There you go. Yeah. Yeah, it works. Yeah, so that's kind of okay. interesting. Yeah. Then you could maybe like put like a, I don't know, you can't put anything under there. But uh, yeah, and then like these little things for being the like little, yeah, the little, the, the spits little like, that you put yeah. in. Hmm. So, I, don't know, I never cool thought about that, detail. but that's some ideas. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is yeah, this is know. this is why I have you on. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm weird. I come so, up with these weird <laughs> concepts to no, do. It's, it's a good idea. So one thing I've done too with these apiaries is, um, so this one obviously has our spruce trapdoor texture on, mm-hmm. it. and then we come over here. We actually have a completely different trapdoor on the top of these over here, Ooh, which is our is this, perch. Is this Tupelo honey? I, I, I don't know the different types of honey or bees or anything like that, but <laughs> basically my whole concept is that each topper is going to symbolize a different bee because they need a different type of hive type of deal. Um, that's so cool. So I like that that's, idea. That's my idea. Like, I mean, it's not the... Uh, and I can't get over these flower fields, dude. Oh, just like, wait. Come over here, actually. You know, these are so pretty. I, want, like, I want you to start walking. Okay. okay. Just on the path. Walk down here. Just yeah. down here. And you can do a little walk. see see some idea, but I want I want you to come up over this hill over here. Okay. And coming. want you to see our little state park area and some more of this uh this beautiful flower farming area. Ooh. Oh look at this. This is so pretty. Wow, that's a lot of flowers, dude. <laughs> wow. Oh this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Right. <laughs> See, this is so freaking cool, and people don't do this. I don't do this, and this is amazing. I uh, so I took some inspiration from Flip because he's a fantastic uh, builder. Um, mm-hmm. But I was going to do a very similar like field design as his, where it's like block and you know all that stuff. But then like mm-hmm. a lot of that was blocking the flowers, and I'm like, this whole area. You know, the industry is the flower. The industry is the bee over here. Right. So you don't want to block that. You want to, like, showcase that. So the the walls do a fantastic job of showcasing it while still giving that whole, like, you know, like, um, framing of, of the field. So I really, oh, absolutely. really love it. So. And I actually really like this. Like I, I'm probably going to, um, Brownie, if you ever want to get on to harvest and do some of these in random places, that'd be awesome to have like an yeah. apiary. Like that'd be so cool. Oh, yeah, check can... it out. These are, these are so, little yes. squares. These are little squares. I like them. So this is actually our little <laughs> state park uh, thing that we've oh, cool. created. Um, eventually there's going to be more to these little like campsite like blankets putting down obviously like there's going to be wool here instead of the grass but are you going to do a uh, little like cabins and stuff too yeah i would like to um probably a little bit closer to alowick but basically yeah. what we did was we extended this lake out so it's a much much bigger lake oh and wow we've actually put in a little bit of a waterfall here which will eventually Ooh. flow um as an underground river so oh, like very very this, cool this uh um, ravine here is actually going to be like the open area of an underground river. There's a couple other ravines in this area that, uh, um, basically will open up as those, uh, those rivers. So or this, that river this is just freaking pretty dude. Like that's really <laughs> what it is. It's just freaking pretty. I love this orange. I never realized that like this orange color, like these orange marigolds, like are so yeah, pretty put tulips, together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like having a giant thing of them is so pretty. And then, of course, the uh, the wonderful little lavenders or whatnot over here. What are these? Corn these cornflowers. Flowers. Yes. Yeah. M- one Those of my favorite and really one pretty. thing that I really, really like are these these uh, wither roses here. It adds a oh. really nice like touch oh my goodness. to the rest of them because you got a little bit of like particle effects coming in. But the, the black, black rose. like, I mean, you have so much color. And then you have this like then black, you've got the field, black, yeah, which adds, you know, it adds a significant color to the the spectrum that we don't see in Minecraft in the fields. Um, and it kills you with particles. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. That's the fun. That's where. And we can't. Is. We we can never beat that. No, absolutely so, not. So show me more. Uh, uh, this over here, I I I do. I know you're going to enjoy this. So we have this okay. little pathway over here. We, Eventually, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I want to do something here in, in between these pathways because they kind of yeah. wrap around on them, themselves. But up here, you can actually see a couple horses hanging out up here as well. And Hi, horses. It's a cart. There's a, a little bit more than just a cart over here, though. It's some stone. Lots it's of some stone. diorite. It's yep. some coal. <laughs> it's a mine. Look at the mine. Mm-hmm. 
So we have Ooh. a little like mine. And again, that's this is the whole point of the world is to have these little builds that are kind of hidden away. So that lumber field is not on the main path, but, right. you know, you can still run through it and, oh, hey, look, this is a lumber, you know, area. Well, you can run past this and see, you know, little hints that there's something up here. Mm -hmm. But nothing, and this place glows at night. It's really cool, actually. Um, oh, that's super cool. And uh, yeah, so like the, those little pieces that the world and you know little hidden areas. Um, the other thing that's really cool about this is I built all of this, and mm -hmm. I didn't notice this zombie spawner up here in the <laughs> wall until I was literally taking a screenshot right here. Like I oh, backed up to it and I heard zombie noises. Like, what is that noise? And I turned around. And I was like, <laughs> oh, that would explain why there's zombie noises. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> I had no idea it was there. <laughs> you should have them like you should have a trap down here. So like when people download the world like this, like door opens up with the zombies and they just pour out of there. <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> but um, I love people's uses for these uh, campfires with the um, with the like the smelters and things like that yeah and then what is it if you take a hay bale and you put it over it it makes bigger smoke absolutely and you'll actually so see that cool. here in a little while uh we'll run mm -hmm. we'll run through that here in just a little bit um and in fact we can actually come back this way i wanted to just show you that because that's a little like tucked away little area eventually that mine is actually going to you know, I'm going to dig that out and make it go for a very long time. It's going to go up in the mountain. It's going to go down. It's going to go, you know, twisting right. around and there's well, going to be little hidden surprises in there. And so. what's in, I think what's important about that is that like people are constantly like, I don't have any inspiration. What should I build? It's like, okay, well you built a house, you built a shop, you built, you know, and like a big one is the shop. Like they're like, Oh, I built this, uh, this, I don't know. Let's come up with a shop like uh, uh, I built this chicken shop or something. It's like, well, where did the chickens come from? You yeah. know, like who raises them? Who does this? Who does that? And then like that's something that's like that. Like you're like, oh, I opened up a, a coal shop or something. It's like, well, where did you get that coal? Hey, exactly. there you go. Go build a mine. Like and go I always try to. And that's what I tried to accomplish, especially with these apiaries. Like mm -hmm. so there's bees here. Right. Well, what are the bees going to feed on? Flowers. Well, yeah, I mean, there's tons of flowers. <laughs> so, you know, like, I mean, that's the thing. Like, that's that's the whole point of it. It's like each time you make something, it's, it, you know, you can build off of that. So why did you build this? Or, you know, wh why is it in this specific area? Is there something else well, around here? And then you, know? you, like, and this is especially with, like, world building. Because, um, like, I, I ran D&D &D games forever and built worlds and stuff. And, like, one of the big things you have to consider is, like, okay, so basically you have, so you have the bees. Mm -hmm. Because the bees are, you know, pollinating the flowers. So now you're, like, whatever kingdom we're in has a surplus of flowers. Mm -hmm. So taking those flowers, you build that into your economy. You can go ahead and say, okay, well, they now sell a buttload of flowers, um, but they may now also sell perfumes. They may now also sell dye. Mm -hmm. um, if they are selling, if they have a bunch of dye, then they will probably want cloth to dye the cloth. And so now you're starting a sheep like you know industry and yep. then you have to have farms to feed those sheep so now you have a farm industry like it all ties in together and it gives you so much inspiration to just continue to build absolutely and that's that's what i've tried to accomplish with this world yeah one thing i wanted to show you here real quick and you have my texture pack on right yes okay so i want you to come in here and tell me something weird about this place in here weird about this place the boxes up here the jungle slabs let me see here. I see the jungle slabs. Is there something else that should be weird? What's up with the stairs? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is a data pack um, that I've incorporated into the world called That's Carpet cool. on Stairs. We're actually like going it. to see an area here in a little bit that incorporates this a little bit more so. But yes, you actually in this data pack um, and texture pack because it's combined in my texture pack as well. Oh um, my gosh. But yeah, you can actually you shift click and put a uh, a carpet on top of the stair or the slab mm -hmm. and it'll automatically connect up like this 
I remember there was a mod like in Attack of the B team that did something similar like this. I don't remember what like no, it was a uh, Carpenter's Blocks. Yes, so you could like blocks, take yeah. a carpenter stair and then you could like turn it into a uh, whatever. It, it was basically carpet. like yeah. painting the block, whatever you wanted. So right. How long do you think before that happens? Just to uh, Minecraft, never going to happen. You don't think so? Nope, I don't think so. I don't think no? that's the way that they're going to want. They they're putting up so much of a fight. Like they have a um, I don't what would you call it a wiki that mm -hmm. um. Basically, oh, this this is the the little hamlet of Sh uh, Chevalier, the um, Raider. I like the Raider flags on the outside. Yeah, that was just like <laughs> before I installed Zuma's uh, um, pillager stopping raid thing mm -hmm. data pack. Uh, I just constantly had them spawn, so like I just keep kept <laughs> getting banners and banners and banners and banners. Um, oh, but go ahead with the uh, so, the wiki thing. Yeah, so I, I think on their wiki they have like a list of things that will never be in the game and yeah. vertical slabs is on that list and they're what? just holding strong to saying that that's Why? never going to be in the game i don't know they said that it's not in the vision of what minecraft is and i don't get it like you have I... you have the the horizontal slabs you have trap doors you know like they they want to they they say they want to you know use your creativity to the best of your abilities and <laughs> well, well you know what people modded and that's how they did it they exactly. made it into the game so exactly it's so, not much of a creativity artistically it's <laughs> like a no screw you guys we're gonna break apart your coding and do our own thing <laughs> like, basically yeah so this is the uh the city of chef or the the hamlet of chevalier and basically mm -hmm. this is the the name of it is like obviously chevalier but the the little nickname is the knight's well and hmm. can you guess who was the inspiration for this city or this hammer? Uh, Knight. Uh, Wells, Knight 13. Wells Knight. Knight, Knight 13 and um, Wells Fargo. <laughs> Absolutely. 100%. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so this is Wells Knight's little like, you know, I, I tried to incorporate a, a couple different uh, versions of him, uh, his stylings into this um into this little hamlet and i think i did a pretty darn good job um i like cool. it um and uh yeah i just it's it's something that's cool but this is this is something this is the reason over here is the reason why we came over here this area right here oh my goodness are these those berry or the uh, apple bushes or whatever? Jungle leaves. There we go. Yeah, jungle leaves. And then you do have uh, little stalks down here underneath. Mm -hmm. which and then I saw the like the occasional, the occasional vine. I mm -hmm. like that. Eventually yeah. that's going to... I haven't actually put vines on the rest of these because it just takes a lot of time. Was it okay? Was it you? You may have been talking to me um, when you were building these. Was it you who was talking to me about that? Like, really, you asked me about vineyards, I think, at one point, and I mentioned that really old trick with the redstone and the lapis and the vines. Um, oh, yes, was, yes, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, no, that was like that old trick, but I know you wanted to do, uh, you wanted to do like an actual vineyard where like everything was hanging up, but like what I was mentioning was like, it's like a, th almost a three block deal. Yeah. Um, and it's still fun. It's a cool idea, but like, I love this. This is, this is super cool. <laughs> yeah. You know so, what I wish you had done here though? Oh, you do have it a little bit. Um, because you always think of those vines or the uh, vineyards and you always think of them over these like rolling hills in Italy and stuff. And I love that you've like brought a little bit of a vertical to this. Oh, I yeah. think it's really, really cool. Yeah, I basically like I use the hills that were already here, the the rollingness of this area here. Um, now, I do want to expand this a little bit more um, into a couple of other areas of the world um, that do have more rolling hills, but I think this mm -hmm. is like a, this was basically my testing. Like I wonder how this is going to turn out. And I really wanted to bring in these, uh, these berry bush bushes, the sweet berry bushes that were, that are new. And, oh, these, uh, yeah. and this was the other part of that, that vineyard that I wanted to, uh, can these there. not stack like as well? Mean? No, no, they can't stack. Okay. Oh, I yeah. just made that one go away. But um, <laughs> so but, uh, yeah, that'd be so cool if they stacked. 
Yeah, so this is the uh, the the vineyard. Um, you have mm-hmm. basically your your barn for holding the wine in the barrels, Ooh. Ooh. and this is like storing the wine in there. And then you have you know maybe some sort of thing that like packages the wine into the barrel and that type of stuff. So barrels, why do they? Do they always? They face the direction that you. So no, if you want was... it to face up, you have to like jump. Well, see, I was looking at the, um, okay, so there's something in the top. So this is like the, oops, this is the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, yeah. No. Here, this here is the bottom. Mm -hmm. What I'm looking at right now, right here is the bottom. Okay. So that's the bottom. This is the front. That's the front, yeah. So that's basically like as if the uh, the lid was on it. I wish they had put the bunghole on the bottom. Yeah. (laughs) And I love that I can use that in a non-terrible <laughs> sense. Exactly right. Because that is exactly what that is. That I might I might go in and, and add that for you. I think it's I think it gives the barrel like because okay so like if you've got like you know you put one down and it's like okay these are well that one didn't but um some of these turn into like fruit like this apple thing that I just put here berries or whatever um so some of them do that. But oh, like, you have a different going... you have a different pack on than I do for that. Oh, why do I not have the pack on? I should have your pack on. Um, <laughs> but but like okay, so some of them have like stuff in them. But like if they're sitting up sideways, you'd kind of assume they were had like a liquid in them, maybe or something. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I just yeah, I haven't messed around with, with the uh, the barrels yet for my textures. Um, I'm I'm don't have as much time as Jermsey Boy does. So like, and I'm not nearly as good of a pixel artist as he is. So like a lot of what I've done is just like trial and error, trial and error. And I'm like, I have this beautiful crown on right now that was made by Jermsey boy that I'm like, the one that's too big. Yeah. The one that's too big. (laughs) But so, uh, the, the one thing, oh yeah, there is an upstairs. I'm not too, it's not ready yet. Yeah. Yeah, It's like, eh. Well, like I noticed you still have like the, you need to do the uh, the big barrels like right over here that you yeah. squash the grapes in and stuff. So Absolutely. cool, though. I like it. So. You should talk to Tim about winery stuff. Uh, if you ever. Okay. Yeah. Tim T4E. Um, if you ever watch his uh, Conquest Reforged series, mm-hmm. um, he has a winery that's like Tim's really big about like historic authenticity. So he'll go in and he'll actually find like uh the mechanisms that like work inside of like wineries and stuff like that. And he has a winery in that world um, that you could like, I mean, it's conquest reforged mod. So it's really sim- like, well, it's not simple, but it's, there's a lot more for him to do it with, but um, he's got this, what could be a working winery. Yeah. Uh, so it's super cool. You could talk to him about like, maybe like checking out some stuff and do a like styles episode with him or something for that. Yeah. I'll have to definitely invite him, but we have our Ooh. little like, winery office area i like this entrance by the way I nobody too. does this i was i was nobody, very happy nobody does that. this anymore <laughs> know what i mean yeah like just the nice little it's simple a, like little... stairs mm-hmm. yeah nobody does that anymore and i love it i think it's super cool so in here you have like paintings mm-hmm. and that type of stuff and then you have your barrels like maybe for the the wine tastings that they have and you know different stuff that they talk about you know is this a uh, tours is, start off here and is this a sommelier uh platform for yes. me to yes you know, fun about that I've... so have you ever watched that show adam ruins everything i've watched it i'm not too fun i i don't like his like personality <laughs> his style yeah, his yeah. Style. there's a lot i and there's a lot that he's actually you know not truthful on, well so. he doesn't yeah. it's not the truthful as much as the uh the just d- tries to get as much in as he can in a like without over complicating it i feel but um he did talk about a thing with wine that i'd actually heard before which was the um the test where they gave all of the like 350 like uh sommeliers like the same bottles of wine mm-hmm. like exactly the same bottles of wine and told them it was one bottle of wine or another bottle of wine and just completely made it up and they were all like oh this is so good and they're like yeah it's the same bottle of like ten dollar wine we just gave you yeah <laughs> so which is kind of fun yeah. but um so um yeah this is like- this is a little project that i did um 
I had taken a, a pretty short break uh, from making Minecraft videos, and this is kind of what I came back to, and I had so much fun. Like, it I blew up my inspiration for this world again, uh, this, this whole project. So, like, this was, like, basically what has propelled me into the, like, month that I just have a, just basically a video a day in this world. So. Dude, these data okay your data pack for the uh carpet thing is amazing on roofs right <laughs> like that is really really amazing especially like this style like just these little farm like builds mm -hmm. like this like i can see where it gets a little weird on the side but it doesn't look bad no like this this looks like a modern farm roof yeah and that was the whole idea it was like well these like carpets on here are meant to be shingles that mm -hmm. that was the whole point and I wanted it to, you know, do a little bit different than just having like the full block being the shingle. So now you it. have, you know, the wood coming along the side as well. And you can kind of see there's something on there, too. So I, I love like it. it. I think it's good. So um, the next thing I want to do, because this this area is very, very laggy because the data data pack uses um, uh, armor stands. So it's, it's mm -hmm. kind of laggy. But I want to come over here. And I think what we need to do is um let's see which way is going to be the best Ooh. uh this pathway over here okay so we have this pathway down here and i thought I want... that horse was a deer oh i wish that'd be cool <laughs> um i want to walk this pathway because we're going to come up to the area that i have actually loved building in and has been so much fun to build in and doesn't have a name yet <laughs> uh so, alex um alex what yeah just call it alex call it, it needs a the name city of alex <laughs> the city of alex <laughs> call, it, call it chester so the to give you an chester. idea if we were there's there's going to be this little like t road t intersection here mm -hmm. you see that if we continue down this way we'll actually yep. run into mantis's style episode as well as raisley which is where your style Ooh. episode took place so cool. this is where we are as far as like comparison to the world oh my goodness that that building <laughs> oh these are the things you've been like sending me uh mm -hmm. screenshots of that is so cool welcome to the uh the city uh that i am building based off of the end cities oh my goodness what is going on with this that is an arch and it's not loading in properly <laughs> it's not loading in properly there it oh is. my goodness brownie this place is crazy. So, welcome to this city, uh, which has no name, like I said, Alex. St. Louis. <laughs> yeah, basically St. Louis. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the inspiration for the arch. Uh, the Blues had won the, the Stanley Cup, so that's why I built it. But <laughs> the blues We have this it. like uh, concert venue here because um, in Indianapolis, uh, they have this like concert venue, which is uh, the like in the white... I think it's called the White River State Park. And it like basically it's this like pretty large river that runs through the heart and the downtown area of Indianapolis. And it is so much fun. I actually saw uh, John Fogarty live there at that that uh, venue and it was so much fun. So I wanted to kind of build that type of venue here. Um, you know, this outdoor like festival type of uh, venue. I think so. it's crazy that the arch goes all the way over it. <laughs> right? Like, that's insane. Like, you can when, have some... when you're way back at, like, like uh, the buildings or as it's loading in, you're like, oh, man, that's big. And then you're standing under it and you're like, oh, man, that is big. <laughs> it's uh, is really uh, crazy. I think it's 110 blocks tall. It looks super cool. Like, it looks really good. And then that was, did you do all that in, like, survival? Yes. It's all you're in survival crazy. and... It's all in iron blocks. That's a lot of iron, dude. <laughs> it took four full shulker boxes of it. <laughs> and you just know if this was like real life and this was like a, a thing, they would like have like rock concerts and it'd be like the dudes like, yeah, let's bungee jump off of this thing, man. <laughs> Absolutely. Like let's the guitarist. Rock the arch. <laughs> it's like the guitarist from like Dragon Force. <laughs> Um, so one thing, uh, in this area that I'm really happy with is actually over here. It's the stadium. 
It's a mm-hmm. modern stadium. So we have in Raisley, we have kind of the uh, the old school like stadium type of deal. Um, the the Coliseum. This one is a modern stadium. Ooh, I like uh, that so, you can kind of peek underneath the bleachers. Yeah. <laughs> so you eventually have, there's uh, going to be like little like um, vin- like uh, like stands selling stuff here. But mm-hmm. th- just didn't have the time to do it. Um, I'm just going to jump over it. Ah, yeah, go for it. What is this? This is like Quidditch. Yeah. So um, this <laughs> is something. And Avalar actually was helping me out because we're planning something. A styles nice. episode. We're planning a styles episode. It's probably pretty obvious at this point because that's the only people that get on that and tours. But um, <laughs> basically, we were planning a styles episode, and he kind of jumped on, and I was I was already currently working on this, and I was trying to figure out what do I want. Like, I don't want a football f- like goal post because that's you know, meh. and I was like, I want something different. I want something like completely different. I was like, I we could do like a tennis court, but I don't want that. You know, I don't want that at all. And we kind of started playing around and this is a combination. He had made this top part here and then I had made something along the lines of this bottom part and basically combined the two and put it right directly in the center of the stadium. So, Hey, this- shout out to uh, both of us, by the way, for uh, the awesome Florida girl kicking butt in the uh, women's open right now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Dude, she is kicking butt. <laughs> this um, is cool i like this this is really really interesting this is almost like a like now is it meant to be played from down here i i don't know avalar what are you doing we need to know the rules so, of this game it, that was the whole thing like the this this city is basically inhabited by people not from this world basically they they came here and so this build style the reason why it's so modern and the technology is so much different and there's skyscrapers and that type of stuff is because this is people from a completely different world that have settled here and like started bringing technology to the rest of the people of this world. You know um, what you should do? You should um, you should hook up some of those slime launchers around here. Yeah. Avalar actually had made one. Um right the here. slime launcher <laughs> yeah and i was like kind of playing around with some of the dimensions of the field so i took it down so i could make sure i could get everything right but yeah i i mean i i don't know like, cool. I mean, you like jump up here and like throw a thing through there oh you ah, broke it right? i broke it it was terrible nope, no you direction. broke it again stop it don't do that there we go but it's so hard to do those oh yeah absolutely um so yeah that's the whole idea and then the last thing i want to show you over here we're mm-hmm. going to actually fly over here Whee. is here? in whoop, into the downtown area downtown and that's actually going to be up here on this hill type of deal going. i can't see a hill or not I, whoa yeah drop down so that's crazy. one we have this fountain here which will actually take you into the end how did you do this? Um, magic. <laughs> structure yeah, like, blocks, is there... actually. Structure blocks. Oh, okay, you structure blocked it. Mm-hmm. That's freaking creepy. And like... then I basically made like the, the end portals. I brought in in creative and like stacked around in the circle. So, But yeah, the, the, end actual, the actual end portal is done in uh, structure blocks. That's so cool. The end portals freak me out because they don't move. They're static. Mm-hmm. So like when you like move around and they just don't go anywhere and they're really weird to look at. Ugh. But uh, this building right here. Mm-hmm. This tall one with the uh, the cat ears on the top. Owl Incorporated. Unfortunately not. This has actually what? already been claimed. <sighs> this building is, sun- is the Suncorp headquarters the brownie land sun corp headquarters no don't give that freaking person bad person evil person a headquarters <laughs> um he's gonna use you so bad and you're gonna well, be like i've already got a job with the company so you think you have a job with the company you know what's gonna happen he's gonna be like oh hey i'm sorry that paycheck of yours is just not it's not going through, and uh, you didn't file your TPS reports, and uh, you got to come in on Monday. And <laughs> oh, th- yeah, and this has just turned into office space now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, and that's that's absolutely. 
Give so, Sony a building. Yeah. Terrible. So he actually came up with the <laughs> design uh, in his uh, episode, his Styles episode. So basically, if we were to chop off the the top two like little portions of this, mm-hmm. uh, I don't know if you saw where I went, but uh, I see you down there. I think unless that's a sheep. I no, am, it's a sheep. <laughs> if if you like. I'm gonna come towards the center. I'm over here. Hey. Hi. Hi. I yeah. see you. So, in the residential area down here, mm-hmm. there are like nine, Wee. eight of the same building here. Yes. Seven, eight, eight of the same building. And these are actually of Sonny's design. This yes. Is his uh his styles episode, and actually, if you chop off uh at this point here, this uh the purple bricks mm-hmm. um chop off the top part of that this bottom part is actually his exact design so we actually built oh, cool. this and the way he built it was so that i could stack it on top of each other and just like keep stacking it on top of each other um, uh, modular get... housing exactly so basically this is uh this is going to end up being um uh apartments so yeah until the health inspector gets here because this is sun <laughs> terrible he's probably paid he's probably paid off the health inspector oh yeah he absolutely has it it's actually suncorp health inspections yeah see i'm wondering where he gets all this money because <laughs> uh from what i understand he's not uh he's not you know like on the on the craft away realm he is not the richest member so i'm wondering <laughs> where he gets all of his money and i think other craft away members who like brownie and watch his videos should be wondering <laughs> where Sonny gets all of his money too. Hey, I'm, I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah. And then the like last thing you... too. Um, yeah. The, uh, the hospital here. So eventually it's all going to be done on the inside, but this is a, like a modern hospital. I like this hospital. Actually, you should, I think I was, you showed me a picture of this before the episode came out and I mm. really, really liked it. Yeah. I'm really happy. I think it's cool. It I like the colors. I love the colors of this place. I think you did a good job. I wanted to do, you know, I wanted to bring in a little bit different colors uh, in there, um, and I wanted to use the concrete because I really like concrete. Um, mm-hmm. But I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do that. And I was like, ooh, hospital. I can use like the different colors being different wings, you know, only oh, yeah. in this sense because they're wanting to build up rather than out. The wings are just built on top of each other. And then that they do that like in hospitals. Like oh, yeah. I'm. I- I didn't grow up in a hospital or anything, but like my mom's been a nurse for like 40 years. So, um, but yeah, no, that's definitely a thing they do. It's like, you know, this would be like the, the, like the women's center and this is like the ER center and mm-hmm. this is the, you know, normal like hospital daily office center. Mm-hmm. So it's super cool. I so, like it. You done, yeah. you done good brownie. Well, thank you. And this you is basically good. what, what ha- has been happening in the last like uh, 25, 50 to 25 episodes. 25 to 50 episodes. That's what it actually should have been said as. But yeah, so this is uh, this is the last couple of episodes uh, that we've had. And I really do. Uh, you're, you're throwing stuff at me now. <laughs> um, I do appreciate you coming along and, uh, and joining me on this uh, this adventure and this tour. Um, you're somebody that I actually have gotten a lot of inspiration from. What did I just do? You, what is this? You're filling it up. How? Leaf blocks are organic material, so you can actually fill it up inside of that. And I made this poop. is how you get made... bone meal. Does it work with poop? Oh, it's ready. Go ahead and <gasps> bone meal. Whoa. Dude, that is super weird. Yep. That's so like, like when straight you're out of your the farms, yeah, it can actually uh, be put in here, and this is how you get bone meal. Wasn't it this takes a mod of... somewhere? Yes. <laughs> I love irony. No. <laughs> it's just gonna keep shooting it out. But um yeah, so this okay. is this is the uh this is Brownie Land. I love it. I love Brownie Land. It makes me so happy because it's so full of so many different things and I love that. Yeah, we've I we've think. tried to do a lot of fun stuff in this series. Um, also, by the way, all the grass in this city is actually going to turn into sand. 
too. All of it? Oh. All of hmm. it. So it's actually going to be like sand, and I'm going to mix in like sandstone, um, end brick, end stone, um, so I can actually grow more of these uh, coarse plants, because these are actual trees uh, from this, you know, place that these people have come from. Um, so these would be like the trees for them. So they brought their plants and that type of stuff. So these are going to replace like the normal vegetation that you would see in a city. You know what you should do? Because like all of these people are new to this world. You should have really mundane, like just normal things seem really spectacular to them. So like they're from like, you know, they're from some other place. So like an oak leaf is like, oh my gosh, look at this oak leaf. Only the rich people own oak leaves or something. (laughs) I mean that's a good idea. That's a that's definitely a good idea. I'll have to try and find some way of incorporating that cuz there is still some space that I can uh I can add some stuff in the city. And so, it needs a glass dome over the entire city. <laughs> that would be insane in survival. Yeah. Have fun with that. <laughs> episode 200. Well, we spent the last 100 episodes making a glass dome around the city thanks to Grumpy Al in his episode 125. So, uh, yeah, the last 75 episodes have been nothing but glass placement. Well, We're in all done, honesty, guys. I would uh, probably just time lapse it. <laughs> Cuz like I'm not about to spend a couple hundred episodes trying to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a beat ups did like uh, a big he did like a little village in a tree on like his last hermit craft thing. Mm-hmm. And like he had the glass dome over the top or something like that. And it yeah. took him like four episodes to do it. <laughs> it was huge. It was huge. But um, I, I do want to uh, kind of spam your your channel because you're somebody that I watch on the daily um, oh, every time you put out an episode, that is. Um, thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> They'll despawn. <laughs> yeah, eventually. Um, but yeah, so uh, where can can the the peoples find you? The peoples can find me in the description down below, um, or you could just go <laughs> onto YouTube and search Grumpy Owl Gaming, and you can find all of my my, my Minecraft content that I'm currently on hiatus of doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> you're actually the like i said i was telling brownie the uh the this is the first time i've been on minecraft in like two weeks or so like just around there um i'm just taking a writing break and taking a minecraft break and pumping some stone hearth which has been amazing oh yeah and so that game yeah. seems kind of cool <laughs> <laughs> that game seems kind of cool but i'm on minecraft you're talking about minecraft <laughs> no um but yeah no brownie's oh, helping no. me out uh, brownie's helping me out by dying <laughs> Goodbye, Brownie. Bye. <laughs> well, guys, I now own Brownie Land. <laughs> oh, goodness. After, <laughs> after thing, three years we're worth, doing, or two years worth of work, and it's all yep. gone, wasted. First thing we're doing, TNT time lapse of no. Sun Quarter. No. <laughs> No, <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, no, yeah. You can find me there doing all of the uh, all of the fun things that I do on YouTube. And then uh, Brownie is actually helping me out building over on my server over there too. Absolutely on my channel. Yeah. Home. Yeah. Go to home. Yes. Go to home. Just go, go home. to the channel too. I'm playing lots of stuff. Yes. It's fun. Absolutely. Stop it. Can't but uh, you. thank you, thank you so much for uh, for joining me, Grumpy. Aw. <laughs> I had a lot of fun, and um, I know uh, I know I was looking forward to this. All oh, jeez, I did it again. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay down here now. <laughs> Brownie, come, come back. Ow. Um, but yeah, I I was looking forward to this all week. I'm not even gonna lie. When when I finished recording, I had messaged you. When I finished recording episode 125, I was like, all right, Grumpy, Grumpy, when are we going to do this? Because <laughs> I was like, oh, I want to get your opinion because you're you're somebody that um, I really value the opinion of. And um, you want my opinion? Why the hell is there a horse? in that, that, a Go watch some fires styles episode and you'll understand why <laughs> there is a horse up here. <laughs> I think I did watch it and I don't remember. But yeah, basically, he it's... rode the horse up into the tree and then got it stuck up there. And then we just basically tied it around in in leaves and i tore down all the uh the trees around this area and the horse has stayed that seems like a sunny thing to do (laughs) right (laughs) 
<laughs> but but anyways, I know guys, you're tr- you're trying to sweet talk me, and I'm trying to distract you from being like <laughs> you're so awesome, Grumpy. Absolutely, um, but. But um, uh, yeah, yeah. No, no. I like it, and I get a lot of inspiration from you two on here. Um, even though you may not think it, I do. I I, I look around and I have fun watching your videos. So well, thank you're you good so much. Too. I appreciate that. Um, I hate this horse, though. Hey, that's that's absolutely fine. Can I can I call it grumpy? Don't don't do it. Oh no. <laughs> The horse is like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, no. <Uh-oh. laughs> oh, no. No, now look. Oh, now we can gosh. poop on people. Oh, okay. I mean, fair enough. That would probably be a, a sunny thing to do, too. So, <laughs> but um, horse. I think that's all the time we have left uh, for today's episode. I just wanted to do oh. a, like a quick tour of uh, some of the stuff that we've done in the world and um, you got lots rest, of editing to do. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. But the rest, the rest, uh, you can actually find in the world download in the comments below or in the description below. Um, I'm not going to put it in the comments. It's going to be in the description below. But yeah, go find it. You can find this texture pack in there as well. So uh, thank you so much for for joining me again, uh, Grumpy, and everybody watching this video. Um, I had a mm-hmm. lot of fun today, and uh, I hope you did too. And I hope you uh, you got some inspiration too from from walking around in here. I did. I'm smiling for the picture. Are we? Cheese. Oh, oh. Cheese. Cheese. Okay. God, I hate Got smiling it. for that long. It's terrible. <laughs> Anyways, yep. guys, that is going to do it for me. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it and want to see more content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, and go check out Grumpy. Oh, he broke it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, make sure you go check out grumpy anyways guys i will see you in the next one bye bye